you're going to bid at an auction, it's very important you've got your deposit payment um, system set up before you register and before you bid. So what are the options in paying the deposit? One, you can organise a bank check um, where the money comes out of your savings account and you've got that, uh, say for example, $50,000 bank check with you and you might have some cash to pay any amount above that. Um, or you organise a personal or business check. If you're under 40, you probably haven't used a checkbook ever or for a long time. So you, your bank, if you've got one of those, you can do that. Um, or you can get a counter check from the bank. Counter check is a once off use uh, check that you can use linked to your account and you can use it on the Saturday of the auction, uh, get it signed and then the money and the check will be banked on the Monday. Uh, secondly, if you're using EFT, one of the things that we're seeing is that people are turning up to an auction and then doing the, organizing the EFT and realizing they have a limit of only a thousand or two thousand dollars at that point. It's really, really important that you get that limit increased um, prior to the close of business Friday. So if you're bidding on a property that's worth say 800,000, you need to get the limit increased to say 80,000 or maybe 5% deposit as a minimum if the agents allowed that. So make sure that's done before the auction. Uh, we do get sometimes buyers ask if they can pay $1,000 and then pay the balance on the Monday or the Tuesday. It really does complicate things and really does add stress and also create a situation where the auction rules say 10% deposit. Uh, now you need to clarify the amount, maybe request 5% if that's what you want to pay, but get all the preparation done prior.